Hi there, everyone. I'm Jake Perrine, lead trainer at warpacademy.com. I'm excited to share with you a full length tutorial from my brand new Ableton Live 9 Jumpstart course. In this action packed course, we explore Live 9 in depth across four weeks. It's the ultimate way to learn Live 9 fast. There are traditionally two ways to use an audio effect. And this is not just true of live. These two techniques evolved from years of analog audio engineering throughout the past century of recording. And you will find this methodology replicated in every studio on the planet, or DAW on the market. You can use effects in series as an insert effect. Or you can use effects in parallel as a send effect. When you drop an audio effect on an audio track, they are connected in series. This means that the audio clip signal flows into the first effect on the track, then the affected audio continues on to the second effect, and so on down the line. With an insert effect, only the audio playing on the track with the effect gets affected. A good analogy for this would be a guitar player using effects pedals. The guitar outputs the clean sound of the guitar, which then goes through a series of effects that change its sound, and it arrives finally at the amp where it gets amplified and sent to the speaker. Each of the effects can be bypassed, or their order can be rearranged to modify the quality of the sound you are seeking. In live, after audio passes out of the last effect on the track, the audio from that track is mixed together with the audio from the other tracks at the master track where the audio is then output to your sound card and ultimately to your speakers and your ears. A typical use for an insert effect would be dropping an EQ or a compressor on a track where it is desirable to color the tone or constrain the dynamics of the entire track's output. The second method, known as a send effect, sends a copy of any track's signal to what is known as a return track. You may then insert effects on these return tracks in the same way you would an audio track, but the result is different from an insert in series on an audio track in several ways. You can send a variable amount of signal from any number of tracks to these return tracks using a track's send dial. For example, put a reverb on one of the return tracks, and all your tracks can share this reverb in differing amounts at the same time. In addition to the amount of signal sent over the track's send, audio also flows through the track in the usual way, including any effects that may be there. That is why this is known as processing a track in parallel. Two versions of the track are being affected in two different ways at the same time. The original track and the return track's audio are eventually mixed together at the master track, where they are then output to your sound card and speakers in your ears. A typical use for a send effect would be placing a reverb or delay on a return track so that you could apply as much or as little of these effects to any track you choose using each track's send dial. 